This is how you can do this title scroll effect in DaVinci Resolve. But if you don't want to waste your time, I've made drag and drop presets that you can get in the first link in the description or go to Rissle.shop. So first, let's go to the effects tab and get a fusion composition and then go into the fusion page. Now, once you're in here, let's press shift space and get a text plus node and then also press shift space and get a background node. Now with this background node, connect this to media out and then with this text plus node, connect this to the background. So now this merge should show up. After you do that, let's just put whatever we want in this text and then once you got your list of text what you have to do is press shift space again and add a rectangle node and then drag this up here and connect this rectangle node to the blue triangle of the text now you should see that it has cut off some of the text which is good now ignoring that for a second let's go to the text press ctrl c and then press ctrl shift v this will create an instance of the text which means it will basically just grab the properties of this text and apply it as its own so in this instance let's go up to the inspector tab, go to shading, right click opacity, and then press D instance so that we can adjust this setting independently. So let's just make this, let's say 0.84 and then press shift space and add a Gaussian blur and then add a merge node, hold shift and slot it in right after this text and then connect this Gaussian blur into the merge. Now you can see it's a little bit blurred over here which is what we're going for, but there's something wrong. There's a green arrow for the Gaussian blur, which is not what we want. That basically means it's gonna go to the foreground. We want this to go to the background. So disconnect this and then disconnect this text too. Connect this Gaussian blur to the yellow triangle of the merge and then this text to the green triangle. Now go into the rectangle and then adjust the width and the height to whatever you want. And then after that, press Control C on the rectangle and then press Control shift v now after that get a background node once again and then connect this instance of the rectangle into the background which will basically mask this background and then connect this background into this merge now you can see it literally just removed our text so let's fix that real quick go into the background select whatever color you want i'm just gonna do this little gray this will be for our box now go into this rectangle right click solid and press d instance and then uncheck it and then also d instance is border width and then go down here and increase the corner radius to whatever you want and then increase the border width and now all we have to do is animate so all you got to do is just go into this text go into transform you can move it around and there look it looks perfect if you want to polish this a little bit more you can press shift space and add a stop motion node which just basically makes it look like a well, stop motion right and there it is Th this this is a, a little bit of a complicated way an easier way is just to get my preset dude it is completely customizable it looks stunning it looks absolutely stunning